If you've been watching YouTube for a while, you're probably aware of the famed test, which has spawned numerous memes. That's right, the lie detector test. This test has been completed by a large number of people, ranging from celebrities to the great majority of YouTubers, and it has exposed many secrets about their personal life. After sporting the Met Gala look with girlfriend Camila Cabello, Shawn Mendes is back in the spotlight, but this time after getting caught lying after undergoing the famed lie detector test. In the interview, the 23-year-old was caught lying about the 31-year-old female singer-songwriter Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Do you want to know what Shawn Mendes was accused of lying about? To find out, stick with us to the finish line. Good day everyone, welcome back to our channel yet again. Here you'll find the most up-to-date celebrity news from across the world. If you're new to the place, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to join our celebrity family. Oh, and don't forget to set on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. Are you ready to get right into the tea? Let's get this party started, amigos. John Mendes, the teenage pop sensation, sat down with Vanity Fair and took their lie detector test where the interviewer questioned him about his life, relationships, and more. Vanity Fair published the video on September 20th, and the video has over a million views already. The actor was asked about everything from his trip to Miami with his girlfriend and family to his thoughts on Harry Styles. Though he was generally honest, there is one instance when he lied, which drew the public's attention. Things became a lot more intriguing after that. There will be a few surprises on the road, including his sincere, candid thoughts on Taylor's long-term lover, Joe Alwyn. If you've been a fan of the Grammy winner Taylor Swift, you probably know that she's been dating the Grammy winner and actor Joe Alwyn. Unlike all the other guys Taylor has dated, the one with Alwyn was behind closed doors. Despite the fact that Taylor's kept their relationship hidden and is shrouded in secrecy, we all know they're one of the cutest couples ever. Being with someone who values the same amount of privacy as you do is a rare thing, and both Joe and Taylor have successfully managed to do that. Well, that could be the reason for their very successful relationship. When questioned if they had stayed in touch after the 2015 tour, Sean revealed that they had maintained in touch via text. Upon encountering when the last time was, Sean answered, maybe a month ago is the last time I texted her, so whatever that counts for is still texting, and said, I'm always am asking her for advice on music. Everything was good up until this point, but oh boy, did things take a turn when he was asked about Joe Alwyn. Sean cleared from the very beginning that though he and Taylor are friends, Sean and Joe have never really had any sort of friendship or connection. The Treat You Better singer initially claimed that the last letter from your lover actor seemed like a nice guy, but then changed his answer once the lie detector hit alert that he was lying. So the test was going well and fine until the interviewer then pulled up a picture of Joe and said, do you approve of Taylor's current boyfriend, Joe Alwyn? To which Sean swiftly replied, I've never personally met Joe, but he looks like a sweet guy. But the operator was quick enough to catch the line. He said, you're not telling the truth, you're being deceptive. When he was called out for lying, Mendez gave an interesting reason as to why he lied. I'm lying a little bit, yeah, I mean, he's kind of got a little bit of a villain look about him. I mean, he looks like a nice guy, but like he, at any movement, could turn into a villain, you know? Of course, the singer was joking around about his colleague's boyfriend a little bit. Still, he later admitted that Alwyn's crystal blue eyes could have been the problem. He said, he's got really blue eyes, and I struggle with eyes that blue, you know? Like, I find it easier to trust brown eyes. After this, Sean nervously chuckled and said that maybe he talked too much. Though Joe Alwyn seemed to be a villain in Sean's eyes, in reality, he looks far from it. Did you know that Joe gave some of his writings for Taylor's song in the album Folklore? Damn, what a gentleman. From meeting at the Met Gala in 2016 to now, they've dated quite a lot and are so in love with each other. Did you guys also know that Joe is the first person Taylor plays all of her songs to? Man, that's like the cutest thing ever. Well, let's hope when Taylor watches the video, she doesn't take it to heart. But it does look like Sean and Taylor do text, so what if they already talked about it? Not to mention, from Taylor's songs, it's pretty apparent you'll not agree with what Sean commented at the end. However, Taylor and Joe are yet to comment publicly and show their thoughts on the situation. Well, to be honest, even I can't wait to see how it will go. I guess we all could say a good job to Sean for keeping it as raw and candid as possible. Even the lie detector operator said Sean was one of the nicest people he's ever done a lie detector test on. Previously, at the beginning of the video, when Mendez was asked whether he was good at lying, Sean confessed that he is a pretty lousy liar and admitted that he had lied to his girlfriend, Camila Cabello, in the past. Well, well, maybe he is a terrible liar as he claims. Camilla is also friends with the beautiful Taylor Swift and also happened to open the show for her reputation tour. In my opinion, both these couples need to go on a double date together. Maybe that would clear up the shade Mendes has thrown onto Alwyn and who knows, it may end up being the icebreaker. 
Mendes throwing a subtle shade at Alwyn has got fans having a field day over it. Hilarious memes are surrounding Twitter, from tweets saying, Joe Alwyn failed the Sean Mendes vibe check. Two, Sean Mendes thinks Joe Alwyn a villain because he has blue eyes. I, memes have been popping up everywhere. Another user tweeted, I need to understand the thought process behind Vanity pulling out a whole photograph of Joe Alwyn when interviewing Sean Mendes. Like, and I agree with this one. What was the point or reason behind such a question? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. A meme on Twitter says, Sean Mendes talking about Joe Alwyn, followed by a picture that says he's a villain. Hilarious indeed. The conversation surrounding Joe Alwyn is not the only thing that happened in the episode. Somewhere in the segment, the singers agreed that he was, in fact, nervous about meeting Justin Bieber while making the song Monster. I think that when I get nervous, my face twitches, but apparently it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure I had some face twitching going on. I definitely said some weird stuff about how much I love his song Smile, he added. The detector confirmed Sean telling the truth, and so he was asked about whether he had talked about the Met Gala Sean had been to with Justin's now wife Haley. To this, he smiled and replied, When we met? No, never talked about that. Though the audience felt awkward, when Sean was asked whether they had ever talked about the old Met Gallows, Sean cleared the air telling the truth. In between the tests, Sean also claimed he could potentially be nicer than Harry Styles. Oh, that reminds me, Sean also said that he's sad that Harry doesn't follow him back on Instagram. Weirdly enough, the interview revealed that Sean follows Michelle Obama, but not Barack Obama. When confronted about this, Sean didn't even have an idea that he did that. Dang, interviewers must be smart enough to get these tough questions. Despite Sean's misgivings about Joe Alwyn, I'm confident that Taylor is well aware of his character and could not be more in love with him. Just have a peek at them. They've been together for more than five years. In December 2020, insiders told People that Taylor is happy with Alwyn and that their relationship has only grown stronger over time. According to the source, he is her rock and their relationship is mature and amazing. So, regardless of Sean's opinion of him, Taylor adores him and, who knows, perhaps we'll get to see their wedding soon. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much what happened in Sean Minnis' lie detector test and why he was called out for it. If you want to watch the whole video, go check out Vanity Fair's YouTube channel. Nope, this video is not promoted by Vanity Fair you guys, but yeah, watching lie detector videos are so much fun, and I'm sure y'all can have some fun watching Sean Minnis nervously answering everything. Although Sean's opinion about Alwyn was something unexpected, it was a different response. Let's just say I can't wait to see how Taylor or the man Alwyn himself will react to this. Even celebrities, I suppose, aren't always so forthright. Do you believe Sean was justified in passing judgment on someone based on Alwyn's eye color? Wait, wait a minute. Are brown-eyed people more trustable than blue-eyed ones? Please let us know your thoughts and views in the comment section below. Okay guys, that concludes today's videos. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch until the end. Please subscribe and give this channel a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so we know you like what we're doing. Also, hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Until we meet again with another enticing video, good luck.